Hi, this is Brian Lewis. I'm an IT Pro Evangelist with Microsoft, and today I'm going to go through setting up an inexpensive NAS. What I'm going to set up today is the QNAP TS-119P+. It's an inexpensive one-disc NAS that works great for my test network. First, I authenticate into the administration service, and we're going to go set up on the iSCSI uh, target. So we expand disk management, go into iSCSI. Now that we're in the uh, iSCSI section, we enable the iSCSI service, and we switch over to the man target management. We're going to run the wizard, so we say OK, and I'm going to create an iSCSI target only initially. So I create an iSCSI target. I'm going to call this my QNAP SAN. Now that I enter this, I hit next. And in the tab authentication settings, if I want to have an authenticated connection, I fill this out here. I'm not going to do that because it's a test network. Hit next and finish. And now I've just created my target. I don't have any disks assigned to that yet, but I do have a target. So I start the quick configuration wizard again, and I select the SCSI LUN only. So I'm going to take the disk and carve it up. Now I'm going to call this my quorum first because I, in a cluster, I'm going to need a quorum disk and I'm going to leave that at one gigabyte. Click next. I choose my, my uh, target uh, that I'm going to map it to. And it's the target we just created. So now I've attached this disk to that target. I've finished that successfully. Now I have one more disk that I need to create. Um, and this is the disk. So I'm going to start the configuration wizard again. This is the disk that I'm going to use for storing. So it's going to be my VM storage disk. Uh, I have 454 gigabytes free on this disk, so I'm going to put it at 450 gigabytes. I'm going to attach it to my iSCSI target. Next. And then finish. Now we've successfully created that. After we've gone through and configured everything, we have our target right here. The my QNAP SAN is my target. And I've carved out two pieces of disk, my LUNs. My first is the quorum at one gigabyte. And my second is VM storage at 450 gigabytes of space, where I'm going to put all the VMs that I use in the cluster. And that's really all we need to do on this. We're all set. Now we're ready to go to the server and configure.